Hey, it's Dick Amel. How are you doing? I saw the documentary, The Mind of Aaron Hernandez, I believe it's called. Uh, the football player that uh, went and killed Odin Lloyd, rest in peace to the family. Uh, allegedly killed Safiro Fultaro, if that's how it's pronounced, and Daniel Abido. Uh, and there's some other names. Apparently from Heavy.com, there's a bunch of alleged cases where he might have been involved. And I wanted to give a few of my thoughts. Comment down below. would love to hear your thoughts on this documentary, this situation. Um, you know, the documentary from like the beginning, they were pushing this whole uh, gay narrative that he was struggling with his sexuality. And maybe that's a possibility. Some people said, yes, that's what it was. Some people said that it wasn't uh, towards the end of the documentary and maybe even throughout the entire documentary there. It looks like there were there were taking this from multiple perspectives from what people thought it could have been. They're going with the CTE, you know, the head trauma thing where uh, from young, they said that the, it could have been possible from a young age that he had this trauma and they donated his brain, which is one of the things that his lawyer pushed for the lawyer that got him off on off of the double homicide case. He was pushing for to have his brain examined and somebody examined it and said that he does have a severe case of CTE Maybe it was a combination of things. Some of the things that really stood out to me was one, the um, there was one guy in there that was alleging that he was gay and it was like a childhood friend and they were like really kind of graphic with it a little bit. I mean, he didn't say details, but he was kind of like, you know, oh yeah, you know, like we did it all the time. And then like they take you up into the bedroom and like they show you a picture of a bed and he was like, oh yeah, you know, there were days where we were there in the room and we were doing stuff and we did it all the time. And oh, it wasn't just me. It was with a bunch of people, you know, saying like he had this whole lifestyle with a bunch of men. That was kind of like, it seemed kind of weird to me. I was also wondering why, why does this matter or what does this have to do with the killing of all these other people? But I guess they were trying to tie in the whole him uh, raging because of his sexuality and taking out his anger because he's been trying to hide this thing. And what I thought was interesting to me, one of the things that really stood out to me in this documentary was the audio voicings of his mother. Uh, and Aaron on the phone calls, you know, there was one phone call where she's asking, oh, you got 40 million. You could give me one million. Give me one million. Give me a crumb. You know, and I, I think he was saying he didn't have it at the time. And I, I don't believe he did have it at the time. Uh, and his mother was just pestering him about it on a phone call. Uh, some of the things where he said to his mother was like, um, you know, you effed me up. You messed up my life. Uh, and this is where I think some of the stuff stems from. And this was what I thought was really interesting, especially about the things that we talk about on this channel was that, OK, the father passed away. The father was a big influence in his life. And as soon as the father passes away, the mother goes and get hooks up with the cousin's husband. Not only that, she moves the guy in. The guy starts living in their house. This is when he was young. I think he was 16. The guy moves into his house right after his father, his idol, you know, the guy he really looked up to passes away. Now, this is not to make any kind of excuses, but this is just taking a little bit of a look into his childhood uh, because we talk about that a lot on this channel. Another thing that I thought was kind of interesting was that the brother, they pulled up like some sort of interviews or something. And the brother stated that uh, Hernandez, when he was a child, that allegedly he was abused, that he, they had a babysitter, a teenage babysitter, which was a guy. They would play hide and seek, and the teenager would make um, Hernandez, Aaron's brother, DJ, go into like a closet and stay there and hide, and we're going to come find you or, or whatever. And he would be in there counting, counting, counting for a long time, and he'd be wondering why is he in there so long. And he stated that. Aaron was forced into a tent, and I guess the teenager did whatever he did to him, and that cause these kind of um, behaviors in him to have uh, attractions to the opposite sex. I think the final thing that I wanted to touch on was the abatement law in Massachusetts where uh, Aaron Hernandez, he committed suicide in prison. Uh, this was during the appeal process, which, uh, which with the abatement law, if you're in an appeal uh, and the case is open and you die, uh, you're supposed to be acquitted. So, you know, people were talking about, was this done on purpose? It seems like it was potentially, you know, he wrote a letter to his wife and highlighted you're rich or something like that. 
Uh, the documentary also highlighted that there was a previous prisoner in that jail. I think it was like a Catholic priest that he passed away while in jail, while I guess the case was open uh, and he was acquitted of all charges. Uh, the other thing, too, that I saw is that they were talking about whether is the family going to receive millions of dollars? I don't know. It's hard to say if they would have gotten out already. I believe it would have been announced. The real tragedy is. The families that were affected, the Odin family, the other families, the little girl, the daughter, Aaron Hernandez's daughter, uh, you know, is he a failed product of his parents? Probably. His mother was more interested in being in a relationship is what it seemed like uh, and getting some money and getting paid. Uh, you, you heard some of the phone calls during the documentary, too, where he said that he wished he could have just talked to her. He wished he could have conversations with her. He wishes that she knew the kind of person that he was because she's going to she's, he's going to he said something like she's going to die never knowing him or something like that. So it's kind of interesting to see a little bit of the insight, but the real tragedy is the innocent people in this. The real tragedy is the people that didn't ask for any of this, you know, that he exacted his revenge on, you know, and these people were close. These are all people that were close. There was also the gunman or the drug guy that was his friend that he shot in the face, allegedly, and left him for dead, right? And that guy it was kind of hard to say if he was credible or not, but it seems like that's kind of what happened. Potentially shot in the face and left for dead. Who knows? Maybe there's more. And I really wonder why he killed Odin. Why did he kill Odin? Comment down below. Was it because he was afraid of being exposed for the dub double homicide? There was that radio lady that said that Odin caught him in a compromising position. I don't know if it was like sexual. The guy, I mean, the woman, the reporter, that made allegations about Aaron Hernandez being gay on the radio. He killed himself two days after. Uh, Aaron Hernandez allegedly also has some sort of prison lover that came out. I don't know if that's true or whatever. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts about this. There's a lot of people on different sides saying it's not the CTE. He was just a crazy deranged guy. There's same people saying that it was the CTE. People saying that it was his repressed sexuality. I don't know, man. And by the way, I liked uh, Odin's friend. I like the way he was talking. I like how he was standing up for his friend. I like that he was speaking on his behalf uh, and representing him. I thought that was pretty dope. I thought he did a good job at that. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Have a great day and peace.